everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back. Let's play some more Fear 2 Project Origin. And last time we dealt with some stuff, things happened, and uh, we moved to the cargo tunnel to take us to what the hell is the name of that place? Still Island? Yeah. So we gotta take the telestatic amplifier on Still Island and destroy Alma. We gotta find Sergeant Keegan, and he's still doing the weird disappearing act stuff. He's like a regular David Blaine out there, and that's not a good thing. And we found the cargo tunnel, so we're gonna go deal with that right about now. I can't guarantee you this is gonna go over extremely well, because I am 100% not of the regularly sober kind at this human point. Ooh, okay, hold on. Hold on. I, 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 gotta, I gotta move over to this weapon right now when I can. Wait a minute, why is the assault rifle number one? That never has been that way the whole time we played. What the fuck? Oh boy. Okay, so we're gonna take this and go just like that. Alright. 75 ammos for that thing is gonna be good. Okay, so this is what happened. We, uh... We had some crazy destruction that was incredible to watch, by the way. We uh, finally found the cargo thing, and there was a giant explosion, which I'm assuming was on Still Island. And it was just this giant bomb. And, oh, no, boy. Critical system malfunction. I wonder what happened with this place. Dude. Yeah, this gaping maw of damage is what we kind of saw from the outside looking in, by the way. Oh, no! Uh, dude, this is the wrong time to be playing a game like this while we're drunk is just bad news. We're drinking a Coors Golden Banquet beer, by the way. Just so we're clear. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, we move along. But we were, uh... We got out of the subway and got to street level, and then we saw this whole explosion and got down to this level. And it was it was a sight to see. That's just putting it plainly. I need to get out of here so we can figure out what we're doing. This is fucking crazy, dude. This may not have been my best time to film a video while intoxicated, but, you know, maybe it'll be funny. Who knows? I, I don't know. Maybe you guys don't know either, but... Good lord, what the fuck is going on? I have... I have things going on on my phone right now that are interesting. How did we do that just now? We just walked at... That angle would be so hard to walk at if you think about it. Like, look at that. That's so weird. We're just like... Walking around like a fucking... Like a... Like a deity or something. People can do things outside of human limitations. Okay, I get it. I know. The system's all fucked up because the place exploded. I get it. You don't have to tell me every two seconds. Okay. The replica soldier is the ultimate warrior. Yeah, we already figured that out. Incredibly fast, incomparably strong, impeccably trained, and utterly devoid of conscience. No history, no hang-ups, and no dick but to serve. Unquestioning loyalty and unshakable discipline at standard PMC prices. Variant 7 replica soldiers accept voice keyed verbal, verbal orders. Standard soldiers recognize 12 unique voices, but 24 or 32 extended capacity is available and are pre-configured to obey telepathic orders once the Harbinger Telestatic Commander series becomes available. It just sounds like a bunch of, like, different things that you'd find in, like, action figures or something. I don't even know why, but you do. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Ugh. I should probably stop drinking soon. Oh, no! People! Oh, God, this is, where this is gonna get ugly. I was hoping we'd be able to go through most of this episode without having to shoot at people. Because I'm drunk and that's not a very conducive thing for this environment. But we might be okay. I don't know. I, I don't know. If we die, then we die. If he cries, he cries. It's like, sh it's like hitting a piece of iron. I can't break him. 
Drago from Rocky IV. Yeehaw. I mean, if I can change and you can change, then anybody can change at taxpayer's expense when you have bean and cheese burritos for the price of $1.75 an ounce. Whether or whether or not it's for green chilies inside of the refried beans of the world peace and the land of the lost. Transport System Manual Operation Guidelines. The recommended procedure to operate the Armacam Subterranean Transport System manually is not to create the op to operate the system manually. Tram cars have been pre-programmed with detailed route information to ensure that they automatically change configuration to conform to the layout of each tunnel section. <coughs> oh, there we go. If, our, if cars are not properly aligned, a collision is probable, resulting in needless cost and currents, as well as hideous personal injury or loss of life. Oh, never mind. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, boy. Anyone determined to be at fault for a manual operation accident may face salary reduction, wage garnishment, termination, or cancellation of life insurance benefits in the event that the individual did not survive. Well, pfft, that's a bunch of bullshit. They're going to take away your life insurance benefits just in case you die, so we don't have to pay out your shit to your family, because they probably don't even know what's going on, let's be honest. Okay. We got more of this stuff. All right. I got a weird, weird, weird feeling that we're going to have some bad, bad news going on here in just a matter of minutes. Let's go see what's going on downstairs. But before we go down down this area, let's just have a little drinkski winkski. I don't think I could ever handle like being on a thing like this in real life. This would be so insane. Like imagine what's going on right now. We're taking the tram Alaska right now. But not really Alaska, but you know what I'm talking about. Like look how large this tram is. We're just fucking going all over the place. Manual override? Who initiated manual override? No, there's no way that anybody initiated manual override. I mean, we're the only people on this thing, so who fucking took over stuff? I don't know. I don't remember seeing anybody getting over here. That's a bunch of lies. That's what it is. You're fucking giving me false info. Where are you going? You get over here right this minute. I'm gonna put you in timeout for being a bunch of fucking not nice guys no you don't throw grenades at me I don't want you don't have my permission to do that where are you going you don't come over here I did not tell you that's okay you didn't call my parents and say hello can I come over to Adam's place of business and be like hey let's just have some fun in the land of of, of things where we we come over and we eat all your food and we drink your pop. And everything's okay. They're just like, I'm coming over anyways, even if your parents aren't home. And sexual deviance was part of the, uh, was part of the contractual agreement of, of peeing inside of the cereal box. I am hitting the wrong buttons to move. There we go. Hey, hey, hey! Grenade! Hit the, the, the button with the thing! There we go. Did I totally miss with that grenade? I don't even see it explode. What the fuck are they doing right now? Where is everybody? Why do I keep getting hit with stuff? It's a good thing we have little, little band-aid kits. I mean, whatever would we do if we didn't have band-aids in this game? 
Like, oh my god, I've been hit by metal metal thingies. If I don't have my my band-aids, whatever in the world, ah, what will we do about that? No, fucking, where did you come from? Hope you got my gun. Alright, so are we supposed to go over there? I don't even really understand what's going on right now. We just... They're having us do all these things. It's a good thing we have enough ammo, but we're out of med kits now, and that's kind of bad news at this point. Warning what? What obstruction? Oh, no. Dude, oh, no. Dude, obstructions are bad. What the fuck? What do you, what do you want me to do? At least you're saving it for me. That's kind of that's kind of nice of you. I always knew you're a nice person. Uh oh. Oh no. You're you're changing the lane. How the fuck are you doing that? Wait wait where? Oh no there you are. How's about we go to hammerhead time? I mean stop hammer time. No you don't. Hello. Man, I'm hungry. I think the only thing I have to eat in my entire house is Doritos. Which sounds kind of good, actually, but I don't really, that's not really gonna make me feel a whole lot better about my life right now. I just, I know it sounds great and everything, but I don't even have any, like, salsa to have it with. But at the same time, you think about it, Doritos and salsa doesn't even sound very good either. It's just a thing to have. You guys, you guys need to get out of here. I don't have enough health to take care of all you guys at one time, so you should give me a break. Oh no, we're dead. Crap. Drink time. It wasn't fair, man. You're giving us way too many people all at one time. It's just... It's very inconsiderate. Oh, God, why are they all flapping around like that? They're like bugs. But they're guns. They're gun bugs. No, you stop it. I know what you're trying to do. And I don't appreciate it. Yeah, you stop it. I know that you've got good intentions and everything. But... This is where I take the reins of the horse, and I'm like, hey, uh, you just sit tight inside of the car, and when I'm ready, I'm going to come around and I'll let you in, because sometimes the, the mayor of France has to take the rope down to the Swedish, the Swedish backpack golden cafe of German institution of slavery underneath the back under portal moon the rings of Saturn are are here for sexual pleasure and enjoyment hey hey uh, dude what the fuck come on it's not nice to kill people I'm gonna try this again I think that we can probably do it I think we have enough time to try it one more time. Yeah, we're only at like 14 minutes. We've we've got more than enough time to do this. I just want to be able to get to the end of this cargo tunnel. That's that's like literally the only thing I want to do at this point. It's not helping that we don't have any more med kits. We have to be really careful. That's one thing I have not been doing this whole time. How is this guy not dead yet? Jeez, I'm croc. Do we get him? No, we stunned him though. We're making strides. Oh my god, dude, my vision is starting to go. As if it hasn't been enough trouble already. My vision is starting to get a little bit sloppy. You know that feeling you get in your eyeballs when they're like, oh, dude, you need to not... Whatever it is that you're doing, you need to stop it, or, like, right now. That's that's exactly 
what I feel right at this current moment time to drink again. Mm-mm. 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 These guys are so inconsiderate. Can't they tell that I'm drinking a beer right now? This fucking leave me alone. I mean, when you got your guy and he's pointing his gun at the ceiling, then that's probably enough evidence to be like, hey, you guys just wait a goddamn minute. I'm sitting here trying to enjoy a beer, and you're being all impatient and crap, and you're just like, oh, look at me. Look at me, I'm a minion of hell, and I don't want to wait for you to finish your beer. Because I'm in concern. I went to college, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. nobody finishes beers in college. They all have to shotgun everything because they're dicks. Their dicks are about the size of a letter opener. And I mean the, the travel size ones. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Hey, guess what? I got nails to throw inside of your face. Yeah, nice try. Yay, we saved! Hey, fuck you. Whoa! What the hell's going on right now? Gotcha. I'm trying to figure out how our weapon switched from over here down to one, because we had it set at like number four. I don't understand what like changed to make that happen. How? Where? What do I do? Evacuate the blue tram before it's crushed. How? Where am I going? I can't change it. I understand that. But where am I going? You're not giving me any fucking idea of what to do. Go. No, go. Get out of the way. You gotta you gotta run, man. There you go. Structural failure imminent. Well, it's nice to know that we got out of the way of that car before it went all blow up face. Because that would have been bad. Well, wait a minute, where are these guys coming from? They were all in the middle of the car. They just had me get out of there for a reason. And now all of a sudden these guys are here like, hey, we had to get off of this car too, otherwise things are going to get all bad. Where are y'all at? Jesus, there's a lot of you guys. Come on. I dare ya. I've got nails. Uh-huh. There you are. What is it? Oh no, wrong password. Wrong password again. Okay, I'm coming. I know what I have to do. Well, why are you telling me to get right out of the back car now? God, make up your fucking mind for a change. I know, I know. Alright, I'm gonna restore order to the world here. Just give me a minute. Alright, everything's all good now. Kinda. It's still pretty bad, but it's better than it was a minute ago. Drink time again! Uh, wait, who was that? Is it Keegan? No, he's gone again. God damn it. Why do they always manage to get away like that? Alright, guys. I'm out of time for now because I'm just. I need to go to bed. I, it's 2.18 in the morning and I've been drinking since like 9 o'clock, so. What I need to do is I need to go and I need to go make a bunch of water come out of my dick into a toilet bowl and then I need to go to bed. And then when I see you guys next time, we're going to explore this area and we're going to probably do it while we're sober because that makes a lot more sense because we'll be able to do things the right way. So until then, this is your host AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching 
And I'll see you next time. Explosions everywhere and people on the side of a cart. And it was cool. Until then, everybody, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hope you had a good time. I did. It was cool.